where Silva doesn't have a chance? No, there is not. Yes, it's called hail. Uh-oh. Speaking, we mentioned the troubles that Ace Haven and Amy Haven had with Sean Christopher earlier. The but that's not the only. That's not the only problem Ace Haven has. The self-proclaimed textbook shooter. At Valentine's Day Massacre, it is official. Signed in contract. Brandon Collum versus Ace Haven in a street fight. Will Ace even be there? As far as we what? know, Ace Haven is dead. What kind of mindset is he in? What kind of physical shape is he in? Amy, all we heard from Amy is that he's not doing well mentally. Physically, he will be okay, but we don't know what shape he's in now. Brandon Collum, if Twitter was a person, Cut the it would music. be Brandon Collum. First up, they for letting themselves be known what they think of. Shut your mouths, I got something to say. So last week, Amy Haven found out once again what happens when you stick your nose in Brandon Collum's business. You would think she would have learned when I dropped her on her head a month ago. But last week, Amy had to face ultimate humiliation when she was hauled off to jail by the cop that she hired to arrest me. How embarrassing that had to be, right? And the night didn't get any easier for the Havens when at the end of the night, Ace Haven's protege, Sean Christopher, turned his back on him and hung him from the freaking ceiling. In fact, it's been a rough few weeks for the Havens. And you know, my mind should really be on my street fight next week with Ace Haven. But me being the kind-hearted man that I am, that's not where my mind is. Well, then where is Everybody's it? so worried about how's Amy, how's Ace. I'll tell you what I'm worried about. I'm worried about the Haven children. Now, I already checked with Harley. She doesn't really give a crap either way. In fact, she was kind of ecstatic about it. Sounds like Harley. But Trace, buddy. Uh-oh. Trace, don't be frightened. Don't be frightened. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. Now, now I know your parents probably taught you a false history. But let me tell you how it really is, buddy. Me and your dad, we were like brothers at one point in time. Me and your father, we started out in this business together. Hell, me and your grandpa, we used to be pretty good friends. We played music together. I've known your family. I've known you since before you were even born when you were in your mother's stomach. In fact, I was supposed to be your godfather. But the truth is, me and your dad were like brothers. And then your mom had to come, come around and ruin everything. So you see, don't be scared, buddy. Don't be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. What kind of man would I be if I would hurt a child, Trace? I'm not a bad guy. This is wrestling, buddy. Things happen. The reason I did what I did to your mom, I was in here having a wrestling match against your dad. If your mom would have just minded her own business, I would have never put my hands on her. I wouldn't put my hands on a woman. It was just the heat of the moment, buddy. If she would have just let me hit your dad with that chain, none of this would have happened. So I know, I know that the last few weeks, seeing your mom get brutally assaulted, <laughs> seeing your dad get hung from the rafters, seeing your mom go to jail, I know it's had to be rough on you. I just want you to know, no matter what happens with me and your dad next week, me and you, we're friends, buddy. We're friends. You don't have to be frightened of me. So in fact, I want somebody to get a picture of me and Trace together just to mark this moment. 
we know what Brandon Collins says. I don't know if I would necessarily trust Brandon Collins. He's such a great father figure. Oh, he's got Trace! Oh my God! <laughs> Trace is nine years old. He's put a nine-year-old in a sleeper. Who what is he doing? Texas has not wanted to do that. I mean, he is now choked in bleach. Referees out here trying to pull him off. Greenhorn Militia saw right. More Cameron Keast out here trying to. He's just a boy. Brandon Collum. Putting a chokehold on a nine year old child. I've always said if Twitter was a person, it would be Brandon Collum. That might be a little too kind. That's what you do to a heathen. That's how. You, that's what you do. I would say I'd be surprised.